Hey, how you doing, guys? Sorry about that. <laughs> it's no African time in me. Yeah, I'll tell you what, if you're ever about to do a live stream and you get something that says, um, do you want to update your software? Just just click no, don't click yes, otherwise. Yeah, this happens. But no, welcome everyone to Akaba Yoga. I'm not going to chat too much because I know I'm already a little bit behind, but hopefully you can all forgive me. Um, so yeah, today we're going to be looking at doing a flow. Nice vinyasa flow is normal, but we're really going to try and focus on the hips. Again, if you've got your <sighs> water handy, just grab that. And also a towel, a towel just in case you're sweating. Um, it's also good to put it behind your knees um, or underneath your knees. But yeah, we'll get started. Yeah, welcome everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cool, let's get cracking. So I'm going to start uh, standing up. So if you all just come to your mat, just feel nice and grounded. Feel the weight distribution going evenly between your, your soles of your two feet. Maybe just rock the head from side to side. This breathing exercise is going to be great for me in particular because I was there uh, yeah, on a bicycle exchanging laptops up to about 15 minutes ago. So yeah, a bit out of breath. And you're going to just widen the feet. So it's just beyond hip distance. And we've done this uh, breathing exercise, I think it was in the, in the second session. So we're going to just slowly start to bend into the knees. And on the way up, we're just going to inhale. Just turn the palms up on the way down, just flip the palms back over and exhale. And repeat again. Inhale to come up, exhale to come down. Inhale to come up, exhale to come down. Inhale up. Maybe close your eyes here. Just flow with your breath. Inhale as you come up. See if you can go that a little bit further as you take your bend into the knees, try and keep the back straight. Arms up. Inhale to come up. Exhale to come down. It's a really good breathing exercise to perhaps take in the mornings. Gently awakens the body, just brings nice movement without being too straining, first thing. And exhale, just push down any negativity, any, any thoughts that don't serve you well. And inhale, really draw up from the ground, from the roots. Exhale, to push down. And one more, just inhale to come up. Eyes are closed, just blink up your eyes. You shake out the legs. Just roll the shoulders, shoulders forwards. And reverse it, roll the shoulders back. When our feet, we're going to take a nice um, stretch to the neck. So again, feel nice and long in the body. Inhale. And raise your right hand up to the sky. And then exhale, just bring the hand over so it touches the side of the head or your left ear. And inhale to draw up, quick length in your body. And exhale, don't force the neck over, just let the, the head roll. And keep it nice and straight in the torso. And use the right hand just to bring a bit of resistance. Maybe just push your head a little bit into the Right hand, let's get a nice stretch down the left side of your neck. And as always, maybe just take the, the hand to the back diagonal. Take your gaze down to your right foot. Just see what else that, that 
comes into your back of your neck. While the muscles are engaged. On the inhale, just push that back up. Check it with your right hand. And let's just do the opposite side. So just taking the left hand this time. Lift the left hand up to the sky. Okay, feel nice and tall for your body. And then take your left hand so it's also right hand side of your head or if it's there for you to reach, just do right ear. Inhale to draw up. And exhale, just straightly relax the head down. Again, just use your left hand as a bit of resistance. So maybe just push your right head, the right side of your head into your hand. That just increase the stretch you're giving yourself on your neck. Again, maybe just take the back of the hand, the hand to the back of the head. And take your gaze down to the front diagonal, looking at the left foot. On the inhale, push it back up and shake out the body. And let's come on down to our knees. So again, a couple of you messaged, messaged during the week that when you're on your knees, you've got a bit of knee pain, it's always good if you can to do a couple of things, either roll up the mat, just place your knees on the mat like that to give your knees a bit more of a cushion. Or what I like to do is put the towel, just place it behind the knees and just take the pressure off. So it's all coming to child's pose. I'm going to keep the towel there, but you can have it there if you need it or remove it. Just start to walk your hands forward. Get your knees apart and your feet together. As you come to your child's pose, just bring the forehead as close as you can to the mat. Just not reaching, don't worry, just let the head be loose, let the head be heavy. If your head's on the mat, maybe just roll it from side to side, massage out your forehead. And also, you just start to bring some movement to your hips, so just sway your hips from left to right. With our eyes closed, we're now going to come into our ujjayi breathing, our ujjayi breath. Is the breath is going to help us flow throughout the class. So we're taking a deep inhale in through the nose. Okay, first one, just release out through the mouth. Let everything out through the mouth. This time we're going to inhale through the nose. And keeping the mouth closed, start to breathe out through the nose. And again, in through the nose. And out through the nose. It's a nice rhythmic breath in and out through the nose. It's got slight restriction at the back of the throat, which just helps you to create an oceanic breath in the room. Just take three more of those. And on the next inhale, let's open the eyes, get them open. Start to push up from the knees and onto the hands. You come into your, your tabletop, if your towel's there, just remove the towel. Your, your mat's rolled up, just unroll the mat so it's nice and flat. And again, we're going to take our cat cows. So your hands are nicely stacked underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips. And start to barrel roll the back. So on the inhale, Take the belly down, take the gaze up to your front diagonal. And on the exhale, draw in your abs, use the hands to push into the mat, and comes to the angry cat pose. So your shoulder blades are spaced out from each other. On the inhale, draw in your elbows, take your gaze up to the front diagonal again. And on the exhale, again, push into the mat. Run nice and grounded as you draw the abs in. Take your gaze to your midsection. Again, let's just undulate that. Coming back into 
Taking your gaze front diagonal, your belly is nice and low. Exhale, draw the ribs in, push into the mat. So come to your anchor cat, your C curve. And again, just take responsibility for your practice. You're just coming to a freedom, a free set of movement. So take your, your hips on one side to the next. Really freedom to your hips here. And I've done a bit of cycling this week, so there's a lot of tightness in my hips. You've come to a nice tight spot, just hold it there for a couple of breaths. Just feel into that, into the muscles. Maybe take a figure of eight of your hips. And on the next breath, let's all come together. Come to a stationary position. A nice tabletop. Let's start to curl the back toes under. Actually, before we do that, let's do a cheeky hip, hip stretch. Uncurl the back toes again. Maybe move your right leg just a bit more to the centre. Then lift. Our left leg, keeping the 90 degree um, bend in the knee. Try and lift your left knee as far as it will go. See how much room you've got. See how much mobility and movement you've got on your hip. I can go to about 45 degrees to fast up grimacing. And just take it back. Again, just bring it up. Just come aware of how far your body can move, how much movement and room you've got on your hips. On the inhale, come up. On the exhale, come down. Just one more. Inhale, come up. Exhale, come down. This is a nice ball of socket joints. Now let's start to take circles of the hips. Don't necessarily have to keep the right angle if you're framing out. You start to move your left leg in a nice circular motion. Ooh. I'm not talking so much because ugh, I find this one quite tough. Got real tightness in my hips. Let's take one more. Take the left hip up. Take it back around and bring the knee back down. I'm going to flip around so we can do the other side. Stay where you are. But now come on to the right hand side. So again, in a tabletop position. Start off by just bringing your left leg so it's towards the centre of the mat. On the inhale, start to lift the left knee and the shin up. And then see first how much movement you've got in your right side. You might find that you've got more movement on one side than perhaps the other. I think I've got a bit more openness in my right hip. It's going a little bit further just by coming up and down. And now I'm going to take the circular rotations of the hip. So Really wind up the hip here. Again, don't focus too much on keeping the right angle. Just think about the movement you bring to your, to your ball socket joint here. Let's go for one more. Yeah, let's come up and around. Whew, bring the knee back down. Use. And now let's curl the toes under. And as we do, we're going to push up into our first downward facing dog. So push your hands into the mat. Your feet are hip distance apart. Just start out by walking out the feet. Just walk them out from left to right. Put into your calves. See how much space you've got to take your heel towards the ground. Try not to be too far over on your arms. Bring a lot of stress to your shoulders. Just try to find a sense of equilibrium between your hands and your feet as you come to your inverted V. On the inhales, come onto our tiptoes. And exhale, start to draw the feet and the heels towards the ground. Just take your heels as far as your body will go today. Really feel nice and grounded in the mat. Just open up shoulders. You can try not to punch your shoulders up. Just come to a nice relaxed pose here. Open up short shoulders. Draw your, your triceps in towards each other. 
create more room between your shoulder blades. Take your gaze towards the back of your feet, that midpoint. On our next inhale, is come up onto our tiptoes. Slowly tiptoe forward towards our hands, as far as you can go. And then come into a nice forward fold, a nice ragdoll. Your head is heavy, your arms are heavy. Just sway from left to right. Again, as we like to do, just take opposite hands to opposite elbows. Just carry on swaying. I like to keep the start of the class is quite, quite formulaic. It's a, it's a good measure. Each time you come each week, just to see if you're finding a bit more room at a bend. You're allowing yourself to really surrender to gravity. The next breath, just take the hands, lift them up, take your hands to your sacrum, your lower back. It's another good one just to see how much more room you're creating. So just start to lengthen out the arms and start to lift the Grasp hands just off your sacrum. Inhale, maybe just look up to the front of your mat. On exhale, start to lean forward, start to bend forward. Bring a, bring a bend to your knees. Just see how far your shoulders will open up here. Again, just go to your edge. You're nice and grounded in the feet. No one's watching you. Apart from your kids, if your kids are there and climbing all over you. It's a great feeling to see you doing yoga. But yeah, just really feel present on your mat. Allow yourself to, to be who you are. There's no judgment here. And slowly start to bring your hands back. Just flop them to the ground. Keep your head heavy. Slowly start to roll up vertebra, vertebra. Keeping your head heavy. Your arms are heavy. Use your abs just to bring you up to a nice mountain pose of dasana. Let your shoulders roll back and your head come up last. Just face your palms forward. Just close your eyes for a couple of breaths, your feet. Just take them hip distance apart. Just before two breaths come to a sense of stillness, peace and quiet, at least in your mind. In respect of the noises that might be going on in the background, in transport, in the traffic, the family, just for a couple of seconds, just come into quietness in mind. Just blink open the eyes. Let's take our hands to our chest and bring your feet together. Your toes are together, maybe your heels are slightly apart. On the inhale, just raise our hands up, trying to breathe beyond the fingers to try and touch the sky. On the exhale, bend from the hips, bend from the hips as we come into our first forward fold. Inhale, hands on the shins as so we come to a halfway lift. So use the hands to push into the shins, straighten out the arms, take your gaze to the front of the mat. Exhale, give it to gravity, surrender and relax down. Let's take one more. Inhale, hands to the shins. Draw in your abs, exhale, release to the ground. On the next breath, just place the hands in front of the mat. Step the left foot back. Step the right foot back as we come to our first high plank. Just gently just roll over the toes. Forward to back as we turn on the abs. Just come into a nice vinyasa, so on the inhale, well forward, on the exhale, it's all together, drop the knees, uncurl the toes and come down so our torso is flat on the mat. If it's there, you can take a swing, it's a cobra. Maybe draw the hands beyond the mat. Keep your elbows nice and tight into the body. It was just either side of your, of your chest, of your ribs. Inhale to draw up with your torso. 
press into the back of the feet as you lift your knees off the mat. And exhale, come down. Just place the hands underneath the shoulders. Again, tuck in the elbows, curl the back toes under. Let's push up into our down facing dog. Walk the feet slightly more in towards the hands. And come up onto the toes. As you come down, if your heels touch the, the mat or they're off, it's all good if they're off. Just try to find a nice sense of groundedness between the hands and the feet. On the inhale, let's come up onto the toes. On the exhale, let's walk the feet towards the hands, towards the front of the mat. On the inhale, let's come to a halfway lift. Inhale to look up, straighten out the arms. Exhale, release the head to the ground. On the inhale, let's come all the way up, take the hands up to the sky. And on exhale, bring the hands to the chest. We're going through our sun salutations now, which will really build up heat in our bodies. On the inhale, let's draw up towards the sky. On the exhale, bend from the hip as we come to a forward fold. Inhale, hands to the shins. As you look beyond the mat, straighten out the arms. Exhale, place the hands on the mat. Take the left foot back this time. Maybe use the towel to pad up the left knee. So we drop the left knee to the mat. Uncurl the back toes. Your front foot is nice and flat at the front of the mat. Once you're nice and grounded on the inhale, start to draw up through the arms. The torso is nice and long. You can try and touch the ceiling. And on the exhale, bring your hands to the mat. Uncurl the back toes, or curling the back toes, and take your right foot to join the left at the back of the mat. Inhale to roll forward. Exhale, again, just drop the knees. So we come down to our bellies. Uncurl the back toes, come into again a swim or a cobra, or an upward facing dog is there for you. But draw the body. Through the arms, pressing your feet into the back of the mat. Exhale, we'll come down. Push your hands underneath the shoulders. Curl the back toes under. We're going to push up into our down facing dog. This time, lift the left foot. So it's parallel to the mat. Curl the toes in towards the face. In the next breath, draw the foot. So it sits at the front of the mat, just inside of the left hand. You can use a towel if need be to pad up the back knees. You drop the right knee to the mat, uncurl the back toes. On the next inhale, draw the hands up to the sky. Again, come nice and long in your torso. And then just pose this. What we're feeling is a nice stretch on the hip flexor front side of your upper thigh. You just give yourself a little bend further forward. You get a bit more of a stretch in the front, like hip flexor. In for one more breath. Exhale, let's take the hands to the front of the mat. Curl the back toes under. Step the right foot, one big leap. So it sits at the front of the mat, side by side with your left foot. Inhale, let's draw the hands up to the sky. Exhale, let's take the hands to the chest. Take the opposite side. Inhale, take the hands up to the sky. Remember, breathe beyond the fingers. We're really creating length here. Exhale, bring the hands through the chest as you bend from the hips and your hands come towards the ground. Inhale, let's take a halfway lift. Your arms are nice and straight. Your gaze is beyond the front of your mat. Exhale, place the hands back on the mat, bend the knees, so lift the right leg, take the right leg towards the back of the mat, and again, drop your right knee, uncurl the back toes under, your front left foot is nice and flat at the front of the mat, just inside of the left hand. You're gonna feel a nice stretch again in your right hip flexor as we draw the arms up to the sky, 
whilst your torso is nice and straight, see if you've got any more room just to lean a bit further forward, just to increase the stretch on your right hip flexor. Inhale for one more, draw the hands higher. On the exhale, take the hands to the front of the mat, curl it back, toes under, just push up, and one big leap. Take the left foot towards the back of the mat as you come to a high plank. You're going to roll forwards and back, you turn on the abs, roll forth one more, again, drop the knees, and curl the back toes as you bring our torso to the ground. Again, from here, take your Upward facing dog or your sphinx or your cobra. Go for whatever your body feels today. So on the inhale, start to draw the torso through the arms. And on your next breath, push into the mat as you come into your downward facing dog. So pull the back toes under, push into the mat. And find your, your nice safe spot. As you come to stillness, it's a nice resting pose. Take your inhale through the nose and exhale for nothing, through the mouth. Let's come back into Ujjayi breathing, in through the nose and exhale through the nose. The next inhale, we're going to lift the right foot this time. Lift the right foot, so it's again parallel with the floor of your mat. Pull your toes towards your face. And on the next breath, start to bend the knees, bring it towards the nose, take it as far as you can. As far as you can. And let's all finish with the front foot at the front of the mat, just sitting inside of the right hand. I'm going to use a towel to pad up my left knee, drop the left knee to the mat, I'm going to uncover the back toes. Got nice and stable. I'm going to draw up the arms towards the sky and from here you're able to see I'm going to bend a little bit more forward and just create a bit more of a stretch in the left hip flexor. Whoops, don't fall over. So again, the hands are nice and high. Elongating through your upper body. I'm going to bend a little bit more and find a nice juicy stretch just here. Inhale and on the exhale. Cut all the hands to the front of the mat, curl the back toes under, push into the hands and take the right foot to draw the left foot at the back of the mat. We'll come to a nice high plank, roll forward, drop the knees, we'll come straight into your low plank. I'm going to push up into an upward facing dog. I'm going to take a swing to a cobra again, go for it. An upward facing dog, your arms are nicely lengthened out. And on the exhale, push into the mat as you come into a downward facing dog. Leave for a couple more breaths. In through the nose, and out through the nose. On the next breath, I'm going to repeat that one. So again, draw the right foot back. It's nice and parallel with the mat. Draw the right foot, so it's at the front of the mat. Drop your left knee down. Again, uncover the back toes. And come straight up. With a nice low lunge, creating room in our left hip flexor again. Inhale to draw up. Exhale, take the hands towards the front of the mat. Uncover the back toes. This is what I should have done last time around, but I forgot. I'm going to jump straight forward. The left foot, draw the right foot in front of the mat. This inhale to come to a halfway lift. Exhale to relax down. Give it to gravity. Inhale to take the hands all up to the sky. And exhale, bring our hands to our chest. I'm going to just increase the pace on that one. So again, go with your breathing, go with your breath. But if you can stay with me, with your bit ahead, feel free. Let's try and do this together. So we can start on the right hand side. So inhale, take the hands up to the sky. Exhale, bend from the hips. Inhale, so come to a halfway lift. 
Exhale, tip the hands to the floor, take the right foot back, pad up the knee if you need to. All right, drop the right knee, hold the back toes, draw the hands forward and up, find a bit more room to bend. You've got to shake it to your right hip flexor. On exhale, drop the hands to the mat, curl the back toes under, and come into our plank, one plank, we're going to go for a chaturanga, we're going to go for a vinyasa. So bend the elbows, keep the elbows nice and tight where possible. Push up into an upward facing dog. And push down to a downward facing dog. Only here for one breath, it's building up energy and heat in the body. On the inhale, lift the right foot so it's nice and straight. On the exhale, lift the right foot so it sits at the front of the mat. Drop the left knee. On the inhale, take the hands up to the sky. Again, feeling to that left hip flexor. And then bring the hands to the front of the mat. Uncover the back toes. Step forward towards the front of the mat. Let's come to a halfway lift. And then exhale as we fall forward. Inhale, take the hands up to the sky. Exhale, bring your hands to the chest. Inhale, take the hands up to the sky. Really breathe on the fingers. Exhale, so you bend forward through the hips. This time, we're taking the left foot back, towards the back of the mat, drop the left knee, and cut the back toes. Draw the hands up to the sky. Calm your hands down. And come into our plank pose. Take the right foot, draw the left foot, at the back of the mat. Roll forwards and back, and come into your low plank. So you bend the elbows to 90 degrees. Let's push up into an upward facing dog. Ooh. And push back into a downward facing dog. This time we take the left foot. So it's power over the mat. Draw it forward. Your left foot now sits at the front of the mat. You drop your right knee. I call the back toes, draw the arms up to the sky, find a bit more space in your right hip flexor as you bend a little bit more forward. Inhale for one more breath as you elongate through the torso. Let's bring the hands down, curl the back toes under, step the right foot to join the left foot at the front of the mat. Let's take a halfway lift here, place your hands on the shins. Just look beyond the mat, keep the neck nice and straight. Exhale to release down. Inhale, take the hands all the way up to the sky. And exhale, bring your hands to your chest. Just gonna spin around so you can see me. The breath exercise we took at the beginning, let me just grab my, my clock. So the breath exercise we took at the beginning of the class was what we call, what the, the posture is called goddess pose. So together, let's just take our feet so they're beyond hip distance apart, so nice and wide as much as possible. That same bend that we took into the knees, we're really going to see how low we can go to start to open up and create more room. The low lunges we just did, a nice, nice job of warming up. It starts to open up your, your hip flexors on the right and left side. So let's take a deep inhale in through the nose. Exhale, let's come to a low, almost like a low squat, but standing up and hold it there. Just feel the burn maybe through the knees, sort of through the thighs. Your back is nice and straight. Just bring your hands to your chest. Inhale, through the nose together. Exhale, together, through the nose. On the next inhale, through the nose, gonna come up. Keep the hands in prayer, take the hands to the sky. On the exhale, see so if you've got any more room in the bend, just take your hands back to your chest. On the inhale, take the hands out to the side. On the exhale, 
know what I mean? On the inhale, take the hands down low. As you drop your butt a little bit more and bring your hands back up to your chest. Let's go two more times. Inhale, take your hands out towards the sky. Exhale, bend into the knees. Your back is nice and straight. Just go to your edge. And your next breath, pushing out. And bring the breath back in. Let's hands draw to the chest. Drop a little bit further. Bring the breath back up. And one more. Just take the hands up to the sky. And the next breath, take the bend to the knees, draw the hands to the chest. On the next breath, you're pushing out. Draw the hands in. Inhale, see how much further you can go lower. Is there any more room? Bring the hands back up. Whoa. And stand up with the legs. You might find you've got a nice burn in the thighs there. It's a really, again, a really good posture just to create a bit more openness in your hips. We're going to stay in the wide legged position here. Right, let's go, if you can, a little bit wider. So start to draw your, your feet. Again, as far as I would go, just go to your edge. Try and pigeon toe your feet in. By pigeon toe, you want your toes to come in, point towards each other, and your heels are spread out. So you're doing that in a wide legged forward fold position. Don't need to exaggerate too much. I'm going to take a forward bend, a forward fold. As we're bending forward, I'm going to spin around to see my back. You're not trying to lean too far into your heels. Try to bring a weight into your toes. Let me spin around so you can see me. So a nice one-legged forward fold. Let's inhale to draw up. Exhale, again, we're, drawing, we're bending from the hips, not sticking the butt out. We're bending from the hips, bending forward. You're bringing the weight into the toes to keep your back as straight as you can. And again, just go to your edge. Don't try and flop into it. And those over-exaggerate the pose. Find a nice room in your hamstrings here. If you can, take your hands towards the ground. Just maintain the breath. Just relax the jaw. If you're tense, relax your shoulders. If you're hunching your shoulders. Okay, you bring weight into your toes. You're not pushing back into the butt, into the heels. You bring weight into your toes. That helps you just find a bit more length as you come down. Staple three breaths. Just inhale through the nose and exhale. See if you've got any more room to bend there. If you've got dodgy knees, you need to just draw your legs in, bring a slight bend to the knees, then please do that. Again, just really listen to your body, take ownership of your, of your practice. That way, in the real world, you don't have to listen to all the noise of people judging you and telling you what's what. Just breathe in for one more. See if we've got any more room to bend a bit further forward. Start to press into the floor, if you can. Maybe walk the feet in towards each other. We're going to spin back round so you can see what we're going to do next. We're going to use the arms to find a bit more room in our hips. So let's all come back to our wide legged stance. And the wide leg is starts, we're going to start to start with the left side. So on the screen, it probably looks opposite, but I'm bending to my left. So this will always bend us our left leg. Let's try as much as possible to keep the right foot flat, the solar foot flat on the mat. So bending towards our left side. Start to walk the hands over the mat. And just take the opposite side. Bending into our Right side, the left leg straight. If you've got more space in your hips, more space than me, then again, go to your edge. Let's keep the sole of the foot nice and flat on the mat. And then switch. And switch. 
This is a common pose you would have seen someone like Bruce Lee or Jet Li, Jackie Chan, they love these ones. That's where they get the flexibility in the movement to really do the high kicks in martial arts, but they can go super low. When they do it, their bum is literally scraping the floor. Again, just go to your edge from one side to the other side. You might feel any, you might find your knees are popping a little bit. Oh. And then come back up to a stationary position. Nice triangle going on here. This I'm going to take our right hand, so our left hand, whoops, our left hand, place our left hand onto our left thigh. Bend ever so slightly into your left knee. And just try and straighten out your left arm. So again, your left hand is sitting on your left thigh above the knee. It's not on the knee, above the knee. Straighten out your left hand. It starts to take your gaze. You bend into your left knee. It starts to take your gaze over towards your right foot. The soles of your feet are both flat on the mat. And if it's there for you, see if you can take your hand, your right hand, over towards your right foot. So your left arm gets nice and straight. It's helping to create some resistance. As you take that bend we just did. Oh, see if you can take your head towards your right foot. Get a nice stretch just inside the right thigh, your right hip flexor. And relax. Breathe out as you come back center. Good. Take the other side. So just walk your knees out a little bit. This time take the right hand. Place your right hand. Again, it's inside of your right thigh. It's above the knees, not on the knees, above the knee. Just bring a bend into your right knee. As you do, pushing into your right thigh. And just start to lengthen out, straighten out. Your right arm, so it's nice and locked. As you do, it starts to take your gaze. So you're twisting from the belly and the back. So start to take your gaze over towards the left foot. Take your left hand and you can level up. Just take the outside of your left foot. See if you can drop any further into your right side. Ooh. You open up and the hips in. On the next breath, release the right hand, come back into your wide legged forward fold. Start to walk the feet in, just start to shuffle them in, 90s style. I tried to watch House Party today on Amazon, but I want to charge me for it. Anyway, no more shuffling. Let's come up, start to dasana, shake out the legs. Hands are nice, nicely spaced out. Your fingers are nicely spaced out. Just close the eyes. Just see if you can feel any openness. See if you can feel the movement as the blood is rushing in towards your midriff, your hips. Just blink open the eyes. So the hands to the chest, inhale to draw up, exhale to so bend the hips as so it comes to a forward fold, come to a halfway lift, and exhale, step back into a plank, the left foot goes back, and the right foot goes back, roll forward on the toes, you come to a high, high plank, bend into the elbows, into the arms, come to a low plank. Push up into an upward facing dog and push back into a downward facing dog. On the next inhale, just take the left foot into the middle of the mat. This time, take our right foot, draw it to the back of the room so it's parallel, your toes are tucked in towards your face. And again, draw the knee towards the nose as far as you can. 
get a water foot forward and go with it, but with the end up, sold your right foot in front of the mat. Again, we're going to drop your back left knee towards the mat and pull the back toes. I'm going to start to again open up through the right hand side. Start to walk your back foot back. If you didn't see that, just have a quick look. I started off just beyond 90 degrees in the back knee. I'm going to start to use the back foot to walk the leg back. So I've got more room to stretch into my left hip flexor. Take your right hand, place your, sorry, take your left hand, place your left hand just on the front diagonal, so it's just beyond the front of your uh, front right heel, but on the left hand side of the mat. We take our right hand. Ugh. Don't follow me, don't follow me from the left hand, keep the left hand down. Your right hand, you want to take your right hand and just cradle your right knee, and that will just help you open up further towards the right hand side. So, left hand down, and start to lean forward into the pose. The right sole of my foot is nice and flat on the mat, and I'm just going to start to twist the body around as I look towards the right hand side. So, I'm using my right hand to just give me a the leverage needed just to turn my gaze towards the back diagonal. And on the next breath, let's bring it back. Walk the hands back towards the front of the mat. Take the right foot towards the back. Let's together come into a high plank. You can take a sip of water here, then go through it. Otherwise, I'm going to come from a high plank to a low plank. Push up into an upward facing dog. Push down to the mat using the hands into our downward facing dog. This time, we can take the right foot, place the right foot at the back of the mat in the centre. Lift the left foot so it's Parallel to your mat, and then draw your knee to your nose, and drop the left sole of the foot so it sits just inside of the left hand. This time I'm going to drop the right knee to the mat, uncover the back toes, and again start to walk that foot backwards. So you can really find your hip flexor switching on. This time, take the right hand and place it at the front diagonal. I'm lifting the left, the left hand and the cradle my left knee. See, my forearm is just on the outside of my left thigh. I'm slowly going to start to drop my right hip towards the mat. And in doing so, I'm just twisting my body. Dropping into that right hand, so twist the body, so gaze over the left shoulder. Ooh. That just create a bit more room. And on the next breath, just release back. Get your hands in front of the mat. Let's go through Vanessa. So your left foot joins your right foot at the back of the mat. Come to your high plank, roll forward and drop into a low plank. If you can, tuck your elbows in. Push up into an upward facing dog. And then push back into a downward facing dog. On the next breath, let's walk forward towards the front of the mat. Let's sit down on our bum. We're slowly going to Roll back onto our backs. I'm going to modify a we do a half pigeon on our backs. A half pigeon is again a really good exercise you can do for over under hips. Normally you do a half pigeon in the front and then just do a reclined pigeon here. So what we're going to do is lift our right foot up, 
Just give it a wave and take your right foot and then just place the outside of your foot just on your left thigh. So if you take a look at where your shin is, your shin, where possible, is going to be nice and parallel. If you look up, your left shin, your right shin is parallel to the mat. It's going to level up. You can start to lift the left foot off the mat. Just keep a bend in the left knee. And then just take your right hand in between and underneath your right shin, grab the top of your knee, and again, use your left hand, take your left hand over your right hand, that way you can always stay where you were, but if you want to level up, just take this pose. And if you go one step further, you can take your left foot, place your left foot inside of the crook of your elbow. So you you want to capture your right foot inside of your elbow, crease your elbow joint, take your right hand and interlace your fingers, and then just bring the knee back up. And here you're getting a nice stretch on your right hip flexor. So there's three different positions you can take. The first one, you're keeping your left foot on the ground, you're just taking your right foot placing it over your left knee, you're going to level up, you're weaving your right hand underneath your right shin, placing your right hand on your left knee and your left hand on top of your right, on top of your right hand. Well, one step further, just take your right foot and cradle it in between your hands. Stay for a couple more breaths. And slowly start to come up the pose. So relax your right hand first, and then your left hand. And slowly bring your right foot down to the mat. And switch sides. So this time, sole of the right foot is flat on the mat. And lift the left foot up, the left leg up. So taking your left foot, and placing your left foot over your right thigh. You can just take a gaze up to see if your left shin is parallel. And if you want to level up, take your right hand. So take your left hand, your left hand, just weave the left hand underneath your left shin. Grab the top of your right knee, take your right hand, just place it over your left hand. If you want to level up, which I can't do, I'm open on one side more than the other, so I can't take my left foot into the middle of my elbow. But if it's there for you, please do go for it. I'm going to just hang up here in the second position. Let's see if I can draw in my right knee a bit further, just to bring a bit more of a stretch to my left hip flexor. You might find stretch again also on the outside of your left hip. And release. Release your right foot down. Lift your left, your left leg up. Place the sole of your left foot on the mat. You can't wrap up the class without doing some abs. Oh, I tuned into a Kirsty White yoga earlier, so I might be out of breath or out of pace in doing the abs. We're going to start by doing 20 punches. Just 20 punches, and we're going to flip straight into 20 leg raises. Let's take our hands just behind our heads. The soles of our feet are flat on the mat, and we're going to just crunch up the 20. So let's do it together. I'm going to count one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 
20. Release the head back down. Let's take both hands. Lengthen out both legs. Just take both hands and place them underneath your, your glutes, your bum muscles, your bum, your buttocks. Just point at the toes. And then inhale. Oof, raise the feet up. Nice and straight. If you've got slight bend, it's all good. But try and keep the straight point the toes. And again, I'm going to count it out. One. So your feet aren't touching the ground. You're hovering them. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Go and take them straight up. Take it to the 45 degrees. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12. If it's easy for you, you just kind of do the crunches. For the ladies, if it's that particular time of the month for you, then please do so. And a count from 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, hold it at 45 degrees. If you open up the feet, point your toes, bring the toes together, take them out, bring them together, take them out, bring them together, take them out, bring them together. Slowly, 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 together. We're taking our feet towards the mat. We're not there yet. Hover, hover, hover. Really feel a lot of abs turning on here. And release the feet to the mat. Well, before we finish up, I'm just going to take a quick twist to the right and left side. So you want your legs nice and straight in front of you. Start to draw in your knee towards your chest. Start to create circles in your right hip. So your hands are clasping in front of your right knee. You're just going maybe clockwise. If you're going clockwise, let's reverse it. Reverse direction going in, just taking the opposite direction. See how much wider you can go in your hip. And on the next breath, let's take the left hand, place the left hand over the right knee. Start to draw the right leg over the body. Taking the knee as far as it will go. You're not going to stress yourself. If your knee goes to the mat, then that's great. If it doesn't, it's also great. Just go to your edge. Take your left hand over the outside of the right knee. Take your right hand and your right gaze over towards the right hand side. Whoa. You might feel a nice pop in your lower back. You might not. Slowly come back into our natural breath and release the Ujjayi breathing. It's allowed us to flow through the practice. Let's take the gaze back to the left. Start to lift the right knee up 90 degrees and then place it straight back out in front of us. We're going to burst into the other side. So again, you're going to draw the left knee this time. Take the front of the left knee. Let's start to create circles in the left hip. Take it one way and reverse it and see how much wider you can go. Even if it's one millimeter, then it's definitely worth turning up at 12.30 for this class. Let's come to stillness. Let's take our right hand, place our right hand over our left knee, the outside of my left knee. This time take the left knee over towards the right hand side of the room and just go towards your edge. Then take the right hand and place it on the outside of the left knee. As you take your gaze over to the left hand side. Let's bring the knee back in towards the centre, spread it out in front of us. So your legs are long, 
take one long stretch. If your kid is near you, maybe they can pull your arms, one can pull your arms, one can pull your legs, like you're on a 12th century rack. And straight, straight out your body. Tense, tense, tense. And then relax. Bring your arms to the side of your body. Body should go slightly over. A bit of technical issues at the beginning. We really want to come to Shavas before, before we finish. Just come to stillness, close your eyes. Just tuck your chin in a little bit. Almost as if your, your gaze underneath your eye, underneath your, your eyelids are looking straight up. So your eyelids are closed. You've got relaxation through the shoulders. And a lot of work in the hips. The hips where we store a lot of tension and emotion. So if certain emotions came up today, then try not to ignore them, just know them, know what they were. See if it's something that you've got bring to your life to have to deal with your face. And nothing came up and you just have a nice stretch, then that's for your service. Stay still and quiet, just a couple more breaths. Slowly start to bring some movement to your feet and your hands. You move the head from left to right. Just drawing your knees towards your chest and give your knees one more pulling. Take your knees, your head up, just join your knees. Then roll over towards your left to your right. Just come to the feet position for a couple of breaths. Then you start to push up in the hands. Keep your eyes closed as you come towards the seat position. And come on my knees and place the towel. Again, just put on my knees. Your eyes closed. Just bring your hands to your chest. Just give thanks and gratitude for the week that you just had. Any stresses, it's all behind you now. There's nothing you can do about those. Just reward yourself for turning up on the mat and thanks for your patience. Just take your thumbs to your third eye, to the middle of your forehead, and we will say, Namaste. Oh, should have had some water. Thanks again for joining in today. Um, again, word to the wise. If uh, your Apple Mac ever says, or laptop, you watch some pieces as well. If it ever says, do you want to update your software? Uh, don't do it with 45 minutes to go before a yoga class. Otherwise, yeah, you're pretty screwed. But no, thanks a lot, everyone, for turning up. Uh, Chris, I didn't do any um, crows for you. I've got some crows for you, Chris. Thanks a lot for um, your support. <laughs> Great commentary. Great to see um, some familiar faces once again. 
yeah, do you know what? The music is still butchered. So rather than play you butchered sounds, I bought um, no sounds today. Uh, but if you haven't checked it out, Erica Badu and Joe Scott did a, a wicked um, Instagram live, I think, during this week. Um, I played it on repeat. It's on YouTube. It's proper top. Yeah, check it out. Look for the beats for Sunday. It's three hours long. So, yeah. If there's any questions? Yeah, Dennis. It's classic with the Max. I'll get through that one. Thank you, Queen P. <laughs> Great to see Irene in here. Tuning in from good old Europe. Yeah, if there's any questions, um, just hit me in the comments. And uh, the email address is aquabayoga at gmail.com. Um, try working those a couple of those hip ones during the week. You don't need an hour to be doing it, even if it's five, 10 minutes. We spend a lot of time sitting on our desks, sitting at our desks, I should say. So you've got a lot of tightness. Um, if you do running and cycling, again, that forms tightness in the hips. So yeah, it's always good to try and practice those. I'll be doing some um, recorded sessions, which are going to be a bit shorter over the next couple of weeks, so you can practice those in your own time. Again, thanks for your support. Always appreciated. Um, I'm going to check on this limit Mac to see what's happening. Um, but yeah, enjoy your Sundays. And subscribe, spread the word. Follow us on Insta and YouTube. I'll see you soon. In a bit, guys. Wicked. Okay.